What is going on guys and girls and welcome back to my video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be doing a tutorial of installing a center console. So first and foremost I am missing two sirens. Missing not missing. I took out my Gulf Street Thunder and my Federal Signal Touchmaster Delta and I replaced it with a Federal Signal SSP 3000B. This model is something that I've been wanting for a really long time. Um, I mean, I just want to change stuff up, and I think this one's going to be here to stay. I really do. With that being said, what am I going to do with this giant gaping hole in the middle of my center console? I'm glad you asked. We are going to replace our whole entire center console. What are you going to replace it with? Are you going to build another one? Are you going to buy a pre-made one? What are you going to do? Well, I'll show you right now. So, big shout out to Chief Deputy Deem at the Work County Sheriff's Department for giving me these two center consoles to use. Uh, he's had these for a while. He said he had no use for them, and I'd be doing him a favor if I got them out of his garage. So, big shout out to Mike. Mike, I appreciate it, buddy. Um, I think that we are going to try to install this one. I just measured the actual like length of uh, between my seat into the dash and it's flirting with about a foot or this thing's about a foot and my uh my bot where the box is now is it's a little under a foot so we're gonna have to push the seat back a little which i think we'll be able to do um have some leeway room and we'll be able to install this model um I'm not sure, like specifically, if there's a certain name. What these are? Um, this has a Gauls uh, charger port on the side of it. And this says Jodo Desk. So maybe we'll find a future project that we can use with this. Um, cause definitely don't want it laying around any longer than what it already has been. But uh, so we can connect. I'm I'm pretty convinced that I can use this one and get it in there. So. Uh, I already installed the siren once. I installed it because I didn't know how long I was going to take in order to get them center consoles. So it's already installed. It wasn't, I had a little trouble with it. Shout out to the person who I bought this off of. They were very supportive in the tech support that they offered me. And shout out to Federal Signal too. They were actually able to lend me a helping hand and uh, I was having some issues with it. I wasn't understanding some stuff in the manuals and they were actually able to provide phone support and help me get where I needed to be. So, um, I don't think it's going to be too hateful. See, the controller is just kind of resting up there right now and it kind of slides all over the place. But uh, I might end up buying another form of ABS plastic and recutting holes and whatnot. So I'm not exactly sure when this video is going to be projected out to you guys. So, because I'm filming this right now on the 17th of November. Of November. And, so I mean, it might be like early December if you guys are ever seeing this. If you see it, I'm, I hope you do. I think you will. But, uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and take our brains out. We're going to disconnect our Kenwood. Just disconnect everything. And then we will sit these in our consoles in here and see what gets the best fit. I also want to say, um, my center console's set up pretty, I mean, it's pretty, it's honestly really basic. I mean, it's, it's all homemade, so I cut, whenever I first uh, was building this, I cut it to my, uh, the dimensions of, from firewall to seed, and so that's why it fits in here so perfectly. So, uh, I mean, it was my own little project I made for myself, and I really had a lot of fun doing it. So, I oh, forgot to disconnect my antenna. Dang, I screwed that in tight. So, uh, ultimately, this is all my box is. I mean, on the outside, I have it, I wrapped it in some form of, like, uh, cloth that I bought on eBay also to give it that more black professional look. And this is the, uh... This is what is working everything else. And you know, the big factor is, is knowing your stuff. Anytime you go to install anything like this, anyone, if anyone looked at this, any normal person looked at this, they'd be like, 
no, we're not touching this. I don't know what goes to what, but I can tell you what goes to what and what everything is for. And that's, and that's what's important is that if you know what goes to what. So I've been kind of thinking of ways because my uh, one model did not come with a mounting bracket. So I'm thinking of ways of what I can do in order to get that controller to you know sit in here fairly well um, I mean ultimately I think that I, what I'll probably end up doing is like I did in my other center console how I have my Kenwood I'll probably drill two holes and put the mounting bracket here for my Kenwood and then I'll probably drill another form of holes on the sides that hold and maybe lay like a uh, find some form of a bracket and maybe lay a piece of wood or something like that in there so that the uh, barrel signal controller can sit on it. But looking at this now, I'm actually kind of concerned that the brains to the to my siren aren't going to fit in here actually. Because that, I mean, it's a huge, it's a huge uh, brain. I don't know if it's a proper term for it to be brain or not, but that's what I'm going to call it. it. looks like there's already been some pre-made holes on the side here, but uh, and there's some of these there's some screws right here that have been sliding back and forth on this little ramp thing on both sides. I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but I say that might have something to do with uh, maybe I'm actually not really not sure, because I don't think it's what I thought it was originally either. So, but we're just going to keep on cleaning this real quick, and then We'll uh, set her in there, see what happens. Something I just want to point out real quick, if you ever actually, if you ever clean one of these where you're in a scenario where you like to like me, um, the most important thing to do is actually do a really detailed clean on the inside. Because if you have some form of a brain module, computer module like mine, where mine has the vents on it that helps keep it cooled, because you know if it runs, and it's probably gonna be running for hours and hours at a time because you know they're made for like law enforcement vehicles, um, the most important thing you can do is do a really good job at cleaning the insides of this because once you, know, you start getting dust and stuff in them vents, it's over. The vents will burn out and your module will be completely ruined. That's my little tip I have for you. So, as I mentioned a second ago, I was concerned that my, that this thing might not even actually fit. So, um... Instead of trying to shove the center console in here, I'm going to disconnect everything. So I'm going to, like I said, you know, it's super important. You know, at least somebody knows what goes to what, and you know, even if you are, you know, if you have time and whatnot, to maybe even label your stuff. Um, and usually, I would never leave a center console like this in such a cluster, like how you originally saw it. But I knew that it was just going to be a matter of time before I got back in here and redid everything again. So that's why my center console was really messy when you guys first originally saw it. And needless to say, it will not be that way um, whenever you guys are, uh, whenever you see the finished product. Now, I have everything disconnected and I just lost a washer okay so this is what the brains of this look like so it's a I mean it's, it's a big model I think it weighs a good three or four pounds something like that it doesn't look like it but it's quite bulky and uh, this is what the other this is what the front of it looks like so this is where you plug in your relays, uh, your horns, your speaker wire, negative or ground, uh, hot wire, and this, I'm not, I can't remember what these two are for, but I think these are actually light bar. Actually, no, I'm wrong. Uh, this one is your ethernet cable to your controller. Dang. So, Wow, that might be the cleanest fit ever. Honestly, 
And so I can keep it, if I keep it pushed back like this, then my Kenwood can sit right here. It'll slide down it perfectly. Um, I mean, it might be a little tight working them wires in, but I think it's very much doable. So the brains will fit in the center console. Now we got to see about the center console. Have a nice fire going because it's getting ready to drop to like 20 degrees outside. It's freaking freezing. Although it's been a fairly nice fall, I will admit. So let's uh, make sure we have enough room in here. So we'll push that out of the way. Okay, okay. So. All right. Um, so indeed it will fit, but it does sit a lot lower than what I expected it to, even with it uh, slanting up. Um, but I mean, it's very doable though. You know, I seriously think that if uh, I, I say we're gonna give this a quick build, because I can always take it out and redo it. I really can. It's not that difficult. And uh, so I'll just do that and see what happens. So I guess our next step is going to be getting the radio mounted. So let's go to that. So this is what my Kenwood looks like whenever it's mounted. Um, I'm not sure where my, oh, there's my bolts. Okay, so I am gonna have to take my stapling, stapling wrapping job off. Yeah, I can get from there. So yeah, you can see where I labeled F for front, and then sides, and I put a big B and red marker there for the back whenever I was uh, designing this. All right, the radio. My Kenwood is out. And so now if we can just find, no, oh, first try, look at that. So now we're going to actually get the mounting bracket out. And hopefully we'll be able to reuse the same uh, nuts and bolts for the other center console. There's one mounting bracket. And there's our other nut. So this next step is a fairly important step. So we're going to take our radio and we want to see, we're going to line up the brackets or the holes, the bracket, and then we are going to see where we want our radio to be. I think right there looks about to be a really good spot. So we're gonna take our handy dandy center punch. There's one hole. There's two holes. All right. So, and as you see, I now know where I need to drill my pilot holes. All right, guys, just a quick little update of where we're at with this. Um, I've been thinking of ways of how I can get my controller here to stick, or not stick, but stay on the center console itself. So as you see, this is my old ABS plastic that I pulled off my old wooden center console there. And so I made a quick little cut outline of the for the radio. And this uh, black mount I had, I pulled off this center console, uh, works perfectly with this one. So, my idea is, it's an interesting idea, but I feel like it possibly could indeed work. Um, 
I can create some type of leverage type deal and let this sit on top of something right here where these screws are and it'll sit perfectly in between or on top of this uh, or maybe not on top but like you know like right here when I screw it in it'll sit perfectly there um, and then around that I can before I mount that I can put my plastic down so I have something on the sides of it and then I'll find or I'll probably end up buying another uh, sheet of this ABS plastic and I'll just redo the middle of it so that's gonna be what we go with for right now so first things first is we need to set our brain inside Maybe not as hard as what I did. But now we have our brain inside. And so I still have enough, plenty of room to play with wiring and uh, everything like that. So now, since we're, we got everything over here, we need to find something to put in between this. So I'm gonna try to look for a form of a small screw. But I don't, I mean, them are pretty decent sized holes. Someone put in there previously so I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to find anything but if worse comes to shove um, honestly if I keep the smart siren there and I mean if I, I don't know, I'm gonna do some playing around with it see what happens with it because I still want to be able to get into it in case I need to change something on it or update it or something like that and the PC mount for it's right there so uh, uh, we'll do some playing around with it there Whew. it's a workout okay so now this is gonna be a little harder than what I thought I'm um, getting the wiring in um, it's gonna be a lot tighter what I thought too but needless to say we can make it happen um, that's not any concern of mine so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some zip ties and I'm going to uh, get some small zip ties and we are going to make this uh, look presentable organized okay so like I said before the uh, main goal now is to just try to get as much of this stuff cleaned up as we can um, because you know they cl cluster wiring is dangerous wiring and we're not looking for dangerous wiring around here we're looking for top-notch presentable jobs well done so um, I don't know how much this I'm actually going to show filming wise because this is super boring and super not necessary because anybody with their right mind can properly run and hide wires. So I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. Alrighty guys and girls, um, after a couple hours later I finally have it installed. Um, so this is what my wiring looks like afterwards. I got some of my tools and stuff down there still. But, uh, so even with my other models I had, I never, ever wired anything into my ignition. I had a kill switch here that I use, and uh, that's what I'm still continuing to use. You can see it powers everything up. Uh, everything is on the kill switch except for the Kenwood. The Kenwood is just always automatically powered and I can just turn it on and off. So, um, I wired the cigarette lighter out lit down here too, so it it works. And my charger just sucks, yeah, my charger just sucks. So, it works, so it's pretty cool. So, uh, I'm going to now work on mounting this to that and getting that plate installed and seeing what all I can do to actually cover this up. 
Okay, guys and girls, here is not our finished product, but my finished product for tonight because I've been at this for like five or six hours now and I'm exhausted. So, we got the center console installed, all the wires ran, um, we got the plate stable, um, the controller itself is actually somewhat stable, um, it's not going anywhere. Regardless, um, I haven't plugged my mic back in yet, but I'm going to order another full sheet of ABS plastic just like this so that I can cover up the bottom of this and I can outline a trim of the top because I don't have enough left over from my other center console. So, um, yeah, I mean, this turned out really good. You know, it's not as big and bulky as the other one. I have a lot more leg room now. Um, I'm going to center it up sometime soon. Um, I mean, I'm really pleased how this turned out. I was having some issues there running the wires and get everything back to it, but nothing that, you know, we didn't work out. So, uh, I'm going to talk about real quick how I had my smart controller set up because you can program this through your computer and I'll probably end up doing a tutorial on that sometime soon because I was really blind and confused going into this didn't know much about it and it took me forever to figure it out and I would like to be able to help anybody in any possible way I could even though I read the manuals several different times over and over again um, it was still really hard to you know come to the conclusion on okay this is what this does or this is how I do this or so look for something in that if you are needing help with this I will try my hardest but like I said I've reached out to a bunch of people and they were actually able to help me so hopefully I can pass that along in the future but uh, just like my other federal signal model um, setting one starts your back and side lights and then I want to talk about this bar real quick this bar is like this is meant for a uh, legit like light bar, so and or a traffic advisor I think I don't know. one of them two. So this I do not have a light bar obviously, and or a pricey traffic advisor. So this bar really means nothing. I have it programmed in the one, two, and three just so it flashes, so it's actually doing something whenever I light it up. So this means absolutely nothing to me. Um, the only buttons I have actually programmed are is this whole entire row and that's it so like this gun lock the uh, low power fast whatever that means um, the warning light just is cycles through the light bar and uh, I'm not sure what that even what that LRCO is either but uh so you can program this to do so many different things and it's it's really awesome but I only need it for basically sound and lighting and my LEDs already do their own little things so I don't really have like certain programs I need to be running so as I said that is my setting one I have my controller also set to where it beeps every 10 seconds I believe whenever a button or the lights are activated so my setting two uh, lights up my fronts so everything is lit up right now and then uh, setting three is just the activates the siren and I programmed a manual down I put this on a momentary switch my whale yelp a the unitrol uh, sound that I love can't remember what it's called high ultra high low I think a the pri a pri another priority that's an on a momentary switch and my air horn so this is my whale or this is my manual down so my whale so this is my siren in a nutshell like i said um, I mean everything is basically done besides my paneling and that's just a matter of it me ordering it on eBay and me actually taking time to cut it out so uh, you know I was able to do this in a matter of like I don't know I've been after I did all the research on the siren it probably took me an honest to God at least like 36 hours 
of actual like legit total time to get everything figured out and I did a lot of stuff off camera and I mean it's it takes time and you want to be really careful with these because these are really expensive models and I mean you don't want to screw any of your stuff up let alone you know something like this so if you guys have any questions about anything please feel free to comment down below like I said I plan on wanting to do like tutorials on better more in-depth tutorials like on the Federal Signal website where you can I'll show you how to download and you can program your controllers and stuff like that because you know it's, it's really fascinating and there's not much content if any content out there on the internet to help other people who are going in blind just like I did so uh if you guys like I said have any questions feel free to comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them other than that like always I appreciate you guys watching uh, I'm always looking for video suggestions, so comment down below also, if you, tell me what you want to see next, and uh, I'll catch you guys later, peace. Yeah, cause I got it like that, flow so smooth like I got it on tap, yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night while I'm on my yingling, while I'm drinking Bud Light, uh, can you get it when you miss me, like I'm with whiskey, drinking Jim Beam, yeah baby, do you do it, do it that way, do you do that? You take a ray, uh, yeah, you know that I'm a beast when I kill it on the beach, like it's sex on the beach, like it's Malibu, take it to the California way, cause we do it, yeah, baby, we can California carry like we on.